Today we're learning to create an applique letter in PE Design Next using built-in text. Step one is select our text tool. Go to text and left click in our hoop area. I'm going to select the letter A, type a capital A and enter. And there's my standard text letter. Okay, at this point I'm going to decide my size, which I want this to be 3 inches wide by the proportionate height. So what I would do is go to my um, toolbar and select Edit. In the ribbon, select Resize. Left click in the actual sizes here and type 3 for the first, um, for the width. That will automatically do the proportion and say OK. Now, I also like working with the design in the middle of the um, hoop, so I would select the Arrange in the toolbar, Align in Ribbon, and Move to Center. Now, as you can see, we've got a nice wide satin stitch, really not what we want for an applique because that would be fabric. So we have a simple little thing to do. Go to the Attributes um, toolbar, Turn off our satin stitch by left clicking in the fill. Okay. Turn on our outline by left clicking there. And select running stitch. Because of course our first stitch is for our placement of our applique and that's what we use as a running stitch. Now under the color, I'm going to select the color and choose the you can't see this on my screen, but when you select color, there's three options at the bottom of your color bar that show three hearts. Just select the first heart and you're good to go for that. Okay, now what we're going to do to select this object, we right click on the A, select object, and then come to the home tab using our toolbar, copy, and we're going to paste the second time, the first time actually that we paste will be the stitch that holds our fabric down. So we'll click paste. We're going to paste one more time for our satin stitch that will be along the edge of our fabric. So I'm pasting the second time. Now if I come down here and click on the plus sign, you'll see all three portions. The next step is to right click on part number two and select object and change the color on that one. The reason we're changing colors now again depending on the machine that you're using if you're using a home embroidery machine you really should at least change the color you don't necessarily have to select the applique colors but you should change the color so that your machine will stop in between colors. If you're using a six or ten needle machine or any commercial machine, then you would want to um, actually select the applique portions because that will cause your machine to stop for you. So that's that's a better choice. So again, we're clicking right click on the second portion, select object, and when we change color by clicking on the spool of thread, again, you can't see this on my screen, but go to the second heart that's down at the bottom and that will change the color. Okay. Now step number three is right click on the third portion, select object, and now we're going to do a, f a couple things actually. We're going to change this to satin stitch using our drop down menu or zigzag. Go to zigzag and there you have our nice satin stitch around the edge. Now I like about a quarter inch zigzag, which you can set that in your attributes window over to the right. That's your zigzag width. Again, 0.25 is a quarter inch. That's where I personally like it. And you can change your color by selecting the spool of thread and selecting your final pl placement. Now you've also got a couple other options here if you would like to do, for example, a blanket stitch. You may want to do that in place of a satin stitch. You certainly can do that with the E, um, with the e stitch right here. And there you have a nice blanket stitch around your applique. 
you also could um, you could also choose other things here you could choose the candle wicking stitch if you would like that around your applique so you have a lot of options you can even um, do motif stitches which allow you to select your own choices I personally like the satin stitch so I'm going to go back to satin we're finished at this point all we have to do is save so go up to um, your little PE Design Next icon in the left part of your screen. Left click on that and save as. And we can label this applique A. And another option that we have here when we're saving is the version of software that we would like to save this in. If you have an older machine, you probably won't want to use version 9. It's pretty easy to determine. If you put version 9 on a thumb drive or however you transfer to your machine and it does not show up on your screen, um, it's simply because your machine won't show that format. So in that case, you would just select a previous, uh, previous version. I'm going to leave mine at version 9 and save. We've just created an applique letter in PE Design Next using built-in fonts. Hope you enjoy.